Okay, so mine printed a little wonky here. The conditional statements. Conditional statements. Let's see who's going to join us for conditional statements. And we have an LOL doll. Hi, everybody. Okay, go away. Anyway, so now we've got conditional statements. Conditional statement says if two lines, if two line segments, sorry, that should be connected there. If two line segments are not congruent, then the segments are not the same length. Underline the hypothesis once and underline the conclusion twice. My hypothesis is going to be, so since it says if two line segments are not congruent, my hypothesis is the portion that says two line segments are not congruent. Remember the if is not contained in the hypothesis. We didn't spend a whole lot of time highlighting that, but that's technically the way it is. If is not part of it. The, the hypothesis is what is happening, not saying if, not with the if. Then what's my conclusion? The segments are not the same length. So there I've just underlined my hypothesis once and my conclusion twice. Remember the hypothesis comes first, it's what's after the if. Conclusion is what happens next, that's a cause and effect. So let's look at the converse. The converse is when the hypothesis becomes the conclusion and the conclusion becomes the hypothesis. So instead of saying if two line segments are congruent, then the segments are not the same length, I'm going to say if the segments are not the same length, so I, instead of, so this part, then the segments are not the same length, that was my conclusion, now it's my hypothesis. If the segments are not the same length, then the two line segments are not congruent. Okay, so I've written the converse. Instead of saying if the two line segments are not congruent, then they're not the same length, I'm saying if they're not the same length, then they're not congruent. Okay, so that's the converse. The hypothesis becomes the conclusion, the conclusion becomes the hypothesis. Alright, the inverse. Whenever you invert something, you just negate it. Okay, you just take the opposite of it. When you're thinking it is, it becomes it isn't. It was becomes it wasn't. It will becomes it won't. So, the inverse, we go back to the original statement. The original statement. And we're going to negate it. So, the inverse is going to say, instead of saying if two line segments are not congruent, you see the word not? We're going to say if two line segments are congruent. Okay? If two line segments are congruent. I changed not to are. But I have to do that for both the hypothesis and conclusion. Then, instead of saying the segments are not the same length, okay, then the segments are the same length. Okay, so what I did was I just negated the original statement. The inverse is coming from the original, the original statement. Okay, all right. So, sorry, my little one is yelling for me. Hold on, Baba. So now we're going to write the contrapositive. Okay, so I'm going to try to move this up and try to keep this all on the same page because it's on the second page. So now we're going to do the contrapositive. The contrapositive, guys, is the converse of the inverse. You have to do two things to it, okay? So the, it's the converse of the inverse. So let me move this up a little bit. All right. Let me get the inverse in there. Okay, so you're going to converse it and you're going to inverse it. So for the contrapositive, I'm going to take the inverse that I've already written and I'm going to converse it. So the contrapositive is going to say, instead of saying if two line segments are congruent, then the segments are the same length, 
the contrapositive will say if the segments are the same length then the, seg the two line segments are congruent. Okay, and that's your contrapositive. See how I kept the negation, the R and the R? Okay, and I probably should have capitalized that because you know how anal I am about that. So anyway, that's the contrapositive. Now let's look at the biconditional. We talked the least amount about this. What is a biconditional statement? That's a statement that can be written both ways. It's true, the, both the original and its converse are true. So let's look, go back and look at the original. The original statement says, if two line segments are not congruent, then the segments are not the same length. Is that true? Yes, that's true. If two line segments are not congruent, then they are not the same length. So let's test the converse. If the segments are not the same length, then they are not congruent. Is that true? Yes. They are both true statements, so we can write them as a biconditional. Now, how do you write it as a biconditional? Well, first of all, it asks you, are they conditional state? Can it be written as a biconditional statement? Your answer is yes. Why or why not? Because the original and converse are both true. Okay, the original and converse are both true. So now I'm going to write the biconditional. A biconditional statement is if and only if. So let's take the original statement. The original statement says if two line segments are not congruent, then the segments are not the same length. The converse was the same. So you would say, you go back to the original, two line segments are not congruent if and only if the segments are not the same length. That's a biconditional. That is a biconditional statement. Okay, that's a biconditional statement. The next one, write a false conditional statement and provide a counterexample. Okay, so I can do that, I think. So let's write a false conditional statement. If Coach Stoughton Let's see here. Let's see, if Coach Stoughton gets two hours of sleep, then she went to bed before midnight. So that statement says, if I get two hours of sleep, then I went to bed before midnight. Now, that's a false statement because do I have to go to bed before midnight to get two hours of sleep? All I have to do is provide a counterexample. So my counterexample would be, she slept from 2 a.m. to 4 a.m. That's a counterexample. That makes this statement not true. If I get two hours of sleep, then I went to bed before midnight. There's nothing that says that that has to be true. Here's an example. I slept from two to four. I didn't go to bed before midnight. So that's what you have to do for that statement. And you can pick any one you want. And that is conditionals.